Hello everyone and welcome back. So we just completed our walking forward with our bow stance and Tai Chi walking. Today we're going to work on our empty stance and moving backward. So then eventually we can just move forward and back together, linking those movements. So we always start in prepare, remembering that's our shoulder width apart stance. Nice, perfectly straight feet, outside edge of the feet to outside edge of the shoulder. For an empty stance, we are going to shift to your left. Turn and open your right toes. Remember, I am mirroring you throughout this portion. Sink into your leg. Remember, knee in line. Don't let it fall in. Have that weight centered on your foot. Build that muscle. Maybe it means you're not sinking down as far. Then you're going to pick up that left leg and you're going to touch with the whole heel of your foot. So we're not just going to touch with the edge of our shoe. We're going to touch with the whole heel of our foot. If we were on a solid floor, it looks like your foot is almost touching the ground, but you can still slide a credit card underneath there. 30% of the weight is going to be in the front leg, 70% in the back. We achieve that weight not through moving forward, but through leaning and folding forward from our hips. Nice straight spine, but fold forward and lean that weight into your front leg. Now let's do the other side. So back to that parallel stance, shifting the weight this time to your right. Turn and open your left toes. Sink down. Track that knee over the foot. And you're going to step out. Touch with the whole heel. Remembering we want one line between the feet. We don't want them crossed or too wide. One line with our feet on either side. Folding forward from the hip to lean that 30% of the weight into the front foot. The hips are open as is the torso to the side direction or corner direction. Okay. Now we have to link it together. I'm going to show you from the side direction first so that you can see how we're going to move backwards and then we'll face each other and do it together. So if I'm starting with my right leg forward, leaning into it, I'm going to pick up that leg. I'm going to step back. I'm not going to reach, okay? We're just going to naturally touch with the toe, the ball, and the heel of the foot. So we have that nice angle through the crown of the head still. And now you're going to push the weight from the front and you're going to push it off of the heel into your back leg. So now the weight is in my right leg. Keeping all that weight here, I'm not going to stand up. I'm going to stay nice and low. I'm going to pick up my left leg and I'm just going to naturally step back, touch with the toe, the ball and the heel. So that foot is 45 degrees. And then I'm going to push off that front heel and turn my foot to straight. So I end up with that one line between the feet. Very important. Now, this takes a lot of time to perfect. So give yourself grace. Know that you are working on details that take time to gain. And it takes an ability to be aware of where your body is in three-dimensional space. And that's going to happen the more you practice. So five minutes a day is key. And we're just going to keep going with our five minutes a day and keep building a little bit more. So we're going to start together. Remember to be aware of what's behind you. So walking forward so that we have that space behind us. Starting in that parallel or prepare stance. You can join me in lifting your arms into that hug a tree position if you'd like. Again, I'm going to mirror you. So you're going to shift to your left. Turn and open your right toes. Sink down. And you're going to step forward first. Touch with the whole left foot, touching with the heel. Okay, see how the torso's turned? We're going to pick up that foot. And as we pick up that foot and step back, our torso is going to come to straight. Toe, ball, heel touches. And we're going to turn our waist as we rotate our right toes to straight. Moving into the other side, stepping back, pick up. Turning the torso to straight, touch, shift, and turn. One more. Pick up. You're going to touch, toes, ball, heel, torsos to straight. We're leaning into it. And then push back, turn from your waist, empty stance on the heel. Release the arms. Check. How did you do? Is your left foot to the corner direction? Is your right foot to straight? Is there one line? Are you crossed? You're too wide. How do we do? And is most of the weight in your back leg? All right. We're going to do it again, this time on the other side. 
So again, starting in parallel stance, arms up if you'd like, shifting right, turn and open your left toes. Everything turns together. Sink down, stepping out, heel touch, whole heel, not the edge, whole heel. Okay, moving back, picking up, move nice and slow. Don't stand up. Try to stay at that level. Feel the legs burn a little bit. Touch, toe, ball, heel. So that puts our foot at that angle and we can push off the front heel, turning everything together. Okay, picking it up, touch, step, and turn. One more. Pick up, touch, and turn. Okay, we're going to do that one more time on each side. So two more repetitions of that for our five minutes a day. And then our next class, we'll be linking that forward and walk forward and backwards walking together. Starting, parallel stance, arms up. Remember, elbows down, relax your upper body. Space between your fingers. Nice, big rounded arms. Shifting to your left, turn and open your right toes. Sink down. We're gonna step out one line between the feet, touch with the left heel. All right, now we're gonna start our backwards walking, picking up. And you're going to step back, naturally touch. Let your toe touch first, your ball, and then your whole heel. Push and turn and move back. Pick up. Turning from your waist. Remember to breathe. Our breathing affects our balance and turn. Last one, picking up. Touch and turn. Okay, check. How did you do? One line, slightly crossed. Might depend on the surface you're working with. We're always going to try our best to have proper alignment to help heal our bodies by using Tai Chi in our daily lives. Last side, arms up, shifting to your right. Turn and open those left toes. Sink down. You're going to step out. Touch with the whole heel. Remember, torso's turned, everything's turned, but we're going to look forward. Then we're going to pick up and we're going to step back, not reach, just step, touch, toe, ball, heel. Push forward, turn on that heel. Torsos to corner, toes to straight. Two more, picking up, step back, turn. Last one, pick up, don't stand up. Touch and move back. Okay, great work today. Moving backwards can be very difficult, especially when we're learning these new movements. And this isn't something we do in our daily lives. So again, try to get in five minutes every day and see how great you feel by the end of the month. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.